think we didn't check out your background before because I said, how does this guy know anything about birds? Who trained you to be a bird trainer, okay? Well, I'm a crane operator. You know who trained me? Me, because back in the day, they didn't have crane operator school. Um, so you had to train your self-taught, okay? Sometimes the best thing is a self-taught person because they're really concerned about what they're learning. So that was important for us when we so, had you come in that yeah. we knew that your background was, you weren't full of <laughs> filter you know <laughs> so you can bleep that out if you want to show but it's a that's the truth because everything people have told us we've always there's been contradicted you guys have never contradicted yourself okay you've always been this is the way we do it this is the way it should be done this is the way we want to do it well you know what if it works for you then why wouldn't it work for us i mean we've tried other avenues that haven't worked right. so let's try something different oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing That was dramatic. Yeah, I thought this was not. Are you not interested? Oh, she's finding the freebies down there. Come on. I think with her, it's going to be trial and error. Step up, step down. Oh, she's the one that won't yeah. step down. Okay, yeah, let's work on that then. Okay. And who is she? Bad about it with both of you? Both of us. Both of us, okay. So, yes, so you step up tree, step down tree. Yes, or step up no tree, step down tree. Yeah. Since the step off is the problem. Okay, so if you can ask her to step up and then ask her immediately to step back down and give her the treat when she steps down and you can show her the treat if you need to. Step up. Come on. I know you know what it means. Step up. Come on, step up. And show you something. Maybe. There's another thing you can do. I'll just step back and switch up. Sometimes they'll be more responsive. There's not freebies on the bottom. They step back. See how she stepped back? Mm -hmm. and then go ahead and give her a treat. Oh, she's playing with paper. Give me that. So I don't know if you could probably see it from your angle, but mm -hmm. she was non-responsive to stepping forward. To stepping forward, but I tapped the back of her elbow and had her step back, and sometimes they'll do that. So there she's come back. Yeah. Okay. And true. So sometimes birds are way more responsive to that. Okay. And I can do it with a bird that I don't know <laughs> because the reaction time to go from here to here is very quick. But to turn and bite me here, I have a lot more time to react and make sure that the interaction stays good because she'll give me more clear warnings and I won't get nailed right. if she actually has to turn to reach me from behind. Right. So those with, with birds that I'm not as familiar with, I'll often do that. And you can see she was receptive to it. So we're gonna try step up. Step up. Come here. Step up. Put your hand behind her foot. Step back. Step back. Come here. And where are you going? Come on. Oh, she's cramping. She clamps down. Come on. Good girl. Step up. So if she's clamping back, then just treat that as she doesn't want to right now. Mm -hmm. And and let her, I'm going to use the word, let her win. With a bird, it's important that you allow them the opportunity to communicate clearly before it escalates to a bite. If you get bit, you miss all the signs. So allowing those opportunities for her to say no is critical. And then stepping back is like, well, why didn't you want to step up? One, we, we haven't really trained it as a trick yet. Right. Um, two, we don't know if she really likes that treat necessarily. Um, so the value of that treat might not be very high. What's her main diet? Well, it used to be anything. What was it yesterday? <laughs> um, no, she had eggs and fruit and nuts for breakfast, and then she had dry stuff throughout the day. Good job! <laughs> and You're going to have to use a treat to get down. Offer treat. Perfect. That's what we Good. call opportunistic training. So, she didn't want to step up for you, allow her the chance to not have to, and then just wait. We took away, she's on training stand. There's nothing here that's distracting and fun. So eventually, I was the more fun thing. You heard Jamie, I don't know if we caught it quite on the camera, but you could tell that she was going to want to step up and not come off. 
Yeah. So that's why I was like, we had to act quickly. Yeah, Another thing with the step back that I showed you, it works great for getting them off your hand. Go ahead. <laughs> Aww. Right, let's get her a treat. We don't know if she's very friendly though, so you want me to do it? Yes. <laughs> Good job! That was awesome, Capri. She's interested in you. You want to try again? Let's wait till she's done with that treat, but I think she's ready. So here, hold the stick up close. Good. Good job! She did bite it, but that's okay. We that can toe tapping. We can fix that. Later. And so the bird was was mimicking that sound by tapping her toe. It didn't really matter. She barely touched it. So yeah, that's what I was trying to take it away for a little bit. So she did it. Bite it. She seems interested. Yeah, she's doing much better now. Yeah. All right, so let's bring it up like here. A little closer. There you go. Okay, hold it still. Good. Sometimes you have to lure them a little bit to get them to touch the stick. There's, there's so many different ways to get them to initially do it, and then once they understand it, then you don't have to use all the little techniques. I feel like we've just done it in three different ways with the three birds that have been out. You want to do the treat? Is it one? Oh, now it's four. I know, I thought it was just going to be one. My math is terrible. We're only doing five. <laughs> So you can even see there how she already picked it up. Yeah, yeah. She likes you. <laughs> you like cockatoos? She's smaller. <laughs> and I hold it a black cockatoo. Held. Yeah. So does mom. And you two look crazy. She freaks <laughs> out. I hold it a black cockatoo. You hold it a white cockatoo. <laughs> Held both. Last one here. Good. <laughs> Good job, great. kiddo. Do we want to put her away while we work with the yep. other one? She okay. She's listening better to her than either one of us. If one of you wants to put her away yeah, so we can work with him. Maybe because she's less intimidating because she's short. We're glad you guys came out. I mean, um, I think we learned a lot today. Yeah. Uh, way more than anybody's ever tried to help. And the thing is that even though we saw your videos, what I was telling her when you guys were gone, when you show somebody how to do it with the with anything one time, at least physically, it's easier. In enough. person, right? You're with gonna, your you're bird, remember, so. you know. I mean, right? I'm looking at another bird. That doesn't mean my bird's going to react the same way. So. Having the fact you that we know how our birds difference. reacted to that particular situation at that particular time wouldn't have happened if you guys wouldn't come here because we could have tried it watching the video a hundred times and not had the same results.